Well, morning everyone. We're just about to dock in Tortola this morning. Uh, it's about five, six o'clock in the morning, something like that. Half five, six o'clock in the morning. Uh, we're due to be at quarter past seven, so I think by the time they dock, um, they've got to do like an immigration clearance. It takes about an hour probably. Uh, from here we're going to get a local ferry over to Virgin Gorda, we've put that online. Um, it's a lot cheaper than the P&O tour. The P&O take you over to Virgin Gorda to the baths. Um, that's about £75 per person with P&O, but the local ferry is about £35, £40 per person, it's almost half price. We're off in Tortola. So, you can probably see the boat in the distance, it's literally five, ten minute walk at the most, round to the hut that says Sensation Ferries. Uh, you can pre-book it or just buy your ticket when you get here, we pre-booked online. Uh, it takes you round trip over the Virgin Gorda and there's a taxi at the other end that will take you to the baths. Lovely. This is what you've got to try and find as you walk around. Five, ten minute walk, really easy to do. You should it this way, did you say? So I'll do it, I'll film on the way back, so. Okay, this is the ferry. It's gonna take us across to Virgin Gold. It's about half an hour. Yeah, I think they just come. 10 minute walk from the boat. Quite easy so far. See if we'll meet the P&O tour group when we're over at Virgin Gold. I think they must obviously have chartered the ferry, especially for P&O. So it's easier and it? it's more convenient, you know you're going to get there and get back on time. Pay at least twice as much as they were doing it. Well, we made it across to Virgin Gorda, you just dock in, and there's a little uh, taxi that takes us round to the bar, it's all included in the price of. Sensation ferries. Uh, boat leaves at quarter to two this afternoon, but there's a couple of different boats. You can get an earlier one or a later one. But we're we're going to go for quarter to two, give us plenty of time to get back to the ship, maybe even walk around the port for 20 minutes when we get back. Three dollars each to get in, six dollars. I guess she didn't have any change. No. Maybe, so she wanted our money to change. Yeah. Morning. Stone Bay has left. Stone Bay. The cave straight down. We do the caves, shall we? Right. 
my sense of direction is really good. So it won't get us lost. It's only going to take two hours to walk down to the beach. And he said 15 minutes to the beach. Also one of the first people here. It's going to get busy later. There's be quite a few people behind us on the tour buses. Don't know what time P&O tour will land. It's an advantage of going independently really. You're not in a massive group. Yeah, you've got to plan your day a bit and it's slightly more stressful. But are you stressful with it, getting here and back? I'm on the ferry. What's that? Yeah, we've got to go on a ferry with a P&O tour. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm saying, yeah. you know, compared to a P&O oh, no. tour, to going independently. Yeah. yeah. Mind you, I expect with a P&O tour, you just get bumped up there, so you can do it. Oh, yeah, you would. Yeah. Mm, another choice. Devil's Bay or the caves. I think we'll do the caves first, do we? Okay. Yeah. We'll come back and do Devil's Bay, couldn't we? I think the caves are the more enclosed, so they'll be busier. Oh, oh I've just done that as well. <laughs> the wheel spin. Yeah, if you've got some decent shoes to wear, the sand makes it a bit slippery. There's the caves that way, is it? go in and out of them, don't you? Yeah. Just where he said it's not slippery. Yeah. It's easier to go back and go. Yeah. Uh, 
Made it through the baths. Made a bit of a mistake, really. We got down there first. No queue. Didn't know which way to go. <laughs> Went back the wrong way. But anyway, it was a bit of a queue, but it didn't take too long to get through. And it's worth it. It's beautiful. Beautiful sea. Sound of the waves. Very romantic. Making wifey romantic, anyway. But she's not made a word, is she? Her eyes aren't painted on. And she sees this Adonis in front of her, she has to um, hold herself back, sit on her hands most of the time in the bus. Look at this, beautiful. Anyway, let you enjoy the, enjoy the view. It's busy. Yeah, it'd be nice down here on your own, wouldn't it? That'd be lovely, but hey. It's all about people. sense of direction. Have I ever got it lost before? Yeah. Have I? When? Yeah. I can't pinpoint one, there's been so many. A few in there, Rome, I think. We got lost in Rome once. Pardon? Rome. You might want to go left there. Maybe not. <laughs> That's a nice little find, just at the top of the bar, there's a restaurant, a little freshwater swimming pool, we can have a little dip and swim in. Not allowed to swim down on the beach today because the red flag's flying where it's a bit rough down there, so it's nice, dip in there, cool down. It's expensive here, drinks are sort of $10, chips are about $8. Oh, you're on holiday, aren't you, so you've got to go for it. His wifey sat over there, look at the view, it's amazing, I'm just saying, eight hours away from where we are, it's grey and cold, yeah it's home isn't it, everyone's at home that you want to see, but it's amazing isn't it, get away and do something like this, beautiful, virgin gourd at the baths, you've got to come, if you come to Tortola, come to the baths, yeah be a bit busy, you have to queue up for a bit, but it doesn't go on for too long and it spreads out after a while once people get through the sort of narrow bits and the steps and things. And then perhaps if you get time, if, well, if you don't want to sit on the beach for too long, come up here for an hour. A little dip in the pool. Should I take you in the pool? Do you want to swim? It's supposed to be waterproof, isn't it, the GoPro? Should we find out? Let's have a look and see if it's cold or not. I'm have some coconut chicken in a minute. Fingers, fish fingers of coconut. Oh, you feel that water? Beautiful.
following guests, please call He's 322. We're not on board, are we? No, That's Mr. Bircher from Deck 11, Mrs. Helen Bircher from Deck 11, Mrs. Christina Gabriel from Deck 11, Mr. John Gabriel from Deck 11, Mrs. Jeanette Morgan from Deck 11, and Mr. Paul Morgan from Deck 11. Please call 322 immediately. I might be going without them. Yeah. <laughs> They're waiting about half an hour normally. Well, a very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the captain speaking, and welcome back on board Arbia. I do hope that you had a fantastic day here in Tortola. It certainly is a gorgeous island. So whether you went off on a shore excursion or just over to the beach or remained in Rotel itself, I hope you had a very fantastic day. It's certainly glorious weather throughout. But having said that, everyone has now returned on board, and so in the next 10 minutes or so, we do expect to be departing from our berth. We'll back away initially, and then to La Romana in the Dominican Republic. So tomorrow we'll be passing Port Rico, wine, yeah. which will be to the north Wait. of us, and we'll be on a west wind. Yeah. So with the strong easterly winds, we can expect just a light breeze over the open deck, so ideal conditions. So do enjoy your evening, and I'll speak to you tomorrow ahead of our arrival into La Romana. Thank you. Well, let's say we're just leaving Tortola, just after six o'clock in the evening. All aboard time was half five. I made a few announcements about six passengers that possibly weren't on the ship. Sometimes it just means that they haven't scanned in or haven't been scanned in properly when they got back on board. And the captain just called over the tannoy and said that everyone's on board. We're just reversing out from Tortola. Sun's gone down behind the hills. Lovely, still nice and warm. And fee day tomorrow. No idea where we are the day after that, but I'll let you know as we go along. You're going to come to the evening meal with us? probably going to join the virtual queue and see if we can get into the Olive Grove which is a smaller restaurant it's all included though there's no extra fee to pay loads of choices on Iona to eat uh, main restaurants speciality restaurants some you pay extra for some you pay a cover charge some you pay off the menu you can pre-book them advance, in advance on the My Holiday webpage or you can just each day join the virtual queue. So um, you go on the My Holiday webpage, click on the one you want and it joins the queue. Most of them you can get into. Um, Epicurean is fully booked all week. It's been really popular. Um, if you're desperate to get in there, go and speak to them at the Epicurean and, and you can be put on a wait list and you might be able to get in from there if you're lucky. But um, There's loads of choice, you'll get in, you won't be able to get in every restaurant, you won't have enough time in a two week cruise. Yeah, deck 8, one well, Deck 8, that troublesome deck aren't we that we mentioned on Iona if you've seen that video. It's okay, I'll just speak to a couple down there actually that are on Deck 8, they've got a balcony overlooks the promenade where people walk past. It wasn't a deal breaker for me, but some people won't like it. Just be aware that um, it reduces a lot of your privacy and you get a bit of extra noise outside. And um, where the hot tubs are as well, you'll hear them bubbling away. You might want to just be careful. Um, if you do a saver price, you can't book a cabin. You're going to book a saver balcony, you're probably going to end up on deck eight. It's the one that most people don't pre-book and try and avoid. Uh, nine and above, it's a bit more private. And then again, if you want to go on the humpy bits, you need to just check on the deck plans for those that um, poke out a bit further. You see that some of those are recessed, some of the balcony cabins. Well, right, quick update from the bridge. We're in the Olive Grove restaurant tonight. It's a nice day today, where were we? Tortola, yeah, Virgin Gordo and Tortola. <laughs> Remembered. Virgin Gordo, I thought. Yeah, Tortola. No, Virgin Gordo. Gordo. Tortola, Virgin Gordo. That's where the boat was. That's not in Tortola. The boat was there. The boat was in Tortola. And anyway, we're in the Olive Grove tonight. It's all in included restaurant, don't have to pay any extra for it, we've got to book it on the uh, web page. 
and you just call me a beer. <laughs> Thank you. She'd be a YouTube sensation. <laughs> You've done that before? A couple of times. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Don't start. Don't give me that look. What does that look for? Yeah, a lovely look. Anyway, we've got a lovely table that a man gave us a table by the window. The wife gets a bit annoyed. Every time I go to a restaurant, I say, can I have a window table? <laughs> nice view, look at the view out there. That's it. Lovely, uh, wifey. And yeah, Olive Grove restaurant. Really nice, nice menu. Um, we just joined the virtual queue. 32 people ahead of us, but it took about half an hour. Comes it now. Hang on. 28, 28 in the evening. Sea day tomorrow, so that's nice. I like sea days, uh, kind of enforced relaxation. Exactly. Yeah, there'd be a bun fight for the sunbeds. And if you want a sunbed in a specific location, you've got to get up at half four in the morning to save it, or maybe five. But we're not too fussed, we're going to just uh, get up when we're ready, have some breakfast, breakfast in the buffet, or the American diner, or the main restaurant, you can go and have a sit down breakfast. Loads of choices in our beer, we quite like this ship, do you like it? I like it. The balconies are a bit odd, aren't they, around the side, because you don't, you don't have that view of the sea, but the ship itself is really nice, proving good. Food's really nice. Yeah, can't fault it really. Nothing wrong with it. And I'll show you the meal when it arrives. Thousand people on expect. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's not. Eh? That's not. Oh, that's not ours, is it? Didn't order a pasta, did we? No, oh, I didn't. Can we yeah. order the um the fish? And what did you order? I ordered that. Yeah. The little fish cake thing, that's one that I ordered. Yeah. We didn't order that, did we? Is that the shared salad? This is gummy one. Oh okay. okay I, I don't, don't think, know. I don't think, I don't think that was what we ordered. Who's on the Thank you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> 
Hi, hi. Oh, holy ho. We're cruising, aren't we? Yeah, where are we? Sea day today. Pulling along, not going very fast, somewhere in the Caribbean. Uh, Tortelli yesterday, heading for the Dominican Republic tomorrow. Doesn't look like he's got far to go, so it's not going very quick. A little shot of our cabin. I'll do a proper tour later. Here's our review of our cabin. Oh, there's the light switches. There's the plugs, that kind of thing. Anyway, we'll do that later. But for now, you're on a cruise, aren't you? You're on a cruise with us. And um, we're going to go to breakfast soon. Going to have a look down at the Keys and the Sixth Street Diner. Or we could go into the main dining room if you like. If they're busy, then we'll probably just pop up to the buffet and have a little bun fight up there. I'll show you out the front of our cabin. Never been in the pointy one before, right in the front, so it's a bit different. It's got this extra screen there because it can get very windy. At the moment, it's not windy at all and it's not going very quick because it's quite pleasant out here. It's quite warm. Um, yeah, you, your view's a bit restricted on these balconies. You, there's a metal balustrade railing at the front there with some wood bits stuck on it. And normally around the side, obviously, they're glass so you can see out better. Look out the front over the pointy end. Yeah, you can see a little private deck there for the crew. It's crew only there. And from what we've seen, it's probably just the entertainment team or the officers that can use that. As not all the crew have been allowed to use it. And below us, we're on deck nine, so just below there, that walkway is deck eight. Uh, that's the one where you can have a balcony cabin and then people can walk straight past the outside. If you look there, you can just see the railing of the balcony and deck eight at the front. And right at the front, quite low down, or the walkway's raised, um, as it is slightly on the side at the front, but then it lowers as you go round, and people can quite easily see in. It's okay, I mean, it's a lot cheaper than the other cabins. Probably, if you go, if you choose a select fare, and no, I'm sorry, a save a fare, which means like a guaranteed cabin, you don't know where you're going to be, most likely you're going to get deck eight because they're the least popular. People generally wouldn't choose them. Um, they choose one or nine and above. I'd go probably, if you had a choice and you're going to pay that bit extra, go from ten upwards really. Eight and nine are quite low down with restricted views. Um, yeah, our view is a little bit odd because all the cabins are generally set back from the sea. 
some ships we've been on, you sort of look out your balcony straight down to the water. Um, there's all of these views just a little bit restricted. And some cabins are set back further than others. We'll look at that later, you can have a look around uh, Deck 8. We'll do a little walk around Deck 8 later. And for now, we're going to go to the breakfast. Are you coming to breakfast with us? Sea day in forced relaxation, isn't it? So, we'll have a chilled out day today. We'll sit around by the pool somewhere. Go and have a fight for a sunbed. We'll show you that, how bad that might be. It's getting on a bit now, half eight, ten to nine in the morning, so it'll be busy up there. A little light snack for breakfast. Chocolate and bacon. I'm you gonna tell you a little bit weird. Who knew that would get together? So the keys for breakfast. I'll show you the menu in a minute. Shake your head at me then, did you? Look at that. The man said I had to have that because you're not allowed just waffles on your own. Have you been to the gym yet? Yeah, I went this morning when you were asleep, when you were having to lie in. It's down there at five o'clock. I'm going to regret this. <laughs> ah, that was breakfast done. I've got a little wander along the outside deck now and just see what the sunbeds are like. Thank you. Okay, no worries, thank you. Oh, a nice breeze. Oh, warm, isn't it? Does it feel like you're in the Caribbean? Hmm? <laughs> that man on the boat was loud, wasn't he? <coughs> you could hear me? No, you couldn't. Yeah, but it was noisy with all the bubbles. It had to be loud. It's hot now. Nice. It's hot now. See how you all day. See how long it's going to be. See how Beachcomb, the pool that I sat in was a bit quiet. <coughs> okay. These all spare that. What here? We're not going to get anywhere else, are we? No, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I can go in the thingy bob. Yeah, the taste now. Oh, 
a very quick update for you. It's about five o'clock in the evening on our sea day after Tortola and before Dominica Republic. That's where we're going tomorrow. We're going to be heading to the Romana. We're doing Pinot Tour tomorrow, zip lining through the rainforest apparently. So not big, huge, high up, fast zip lines, but um, lots of little ones through the treetops. You can come with us, hopefully we'll be able to film it. Tomorrow morning, get up early, about half eight-ish, and we'll take you around on a P&O cruise tour. But this evening, it's a formal night, celebration night they call it now, and we're going to the chef's table, which is basically in part of the buffet. They dress it up, make it look a bit nice. And it's a little bit more intimate, I guess you'd call it, than the main dining room. But we'll see, we'll have a look. Chef's table tonight. Uh, we might go to a show just before that, uh, vocalists in the main theatre, but we'll see. You come with us anyway, wherever we end up. Well, I'll just give you a quick update. So we're in the theatre this evening. Had a nice sea day today. It's got hot this morning, got a bit crispy. Cloudy now though, but that's fine. We're all indoors. Caught to seven in the evening. We're just going to watch Harry Lineker. He's, um, You've all heard of Harry Lineker, haven't you? A famous, a famous person that does stuff. So we're going to see him in a minute, see what he does. Just juggling, uh, singing and dancing, I think he does. But anyway, Harry Lineker, Googling. Not Gary, Harry. Harry Lineker. I don't know if he's a relation, but there you go. He doesn't eat any crisps. So we're going to watch him then off to the chef's table in the beach house. So we'll take you with us there. Have a look at the menu, see what you want to eat. Beef Wellington we had last time, that was nice. Was it beef Wellington? Yeah, that was nice. I think there's a bit of a lobster and crab something. I'm not sure what it is. We'll, to, we'll check with the waiter anyway. If you're not sure, you see something on the menu, you're not sure what it is, ask the waiter. Don't worry about it, just ask him. Sometimes they have a bit of a fancy name. Yeah, we'll go there next. So Probably can't film this show, but I'll tell you what it's like afterwards. Barry's any good. And then you can come with us to dinner. Hello, good evening. 9109. Is there any tables near the windows at all? Actually? That can be a pain. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I got it. You're dead. Thank you. No, it's medium. Eh? Medium. Well. Medium well, yeah. Well, morning campus. 
after seven in the morning. We're in Dominican Republic this morning. Uh, Romana. Not a very nice view, is it? Like, it's really busy. I don't know where the town and the port is from here. Apparently there's a bit of a cruise resort with a swimming pool, your normal cruise shops and things that it's easily walkable. So it must be on the other part of the ship. We're right at the pointy end. We're docked in quite a narrow little channel, so I'm guessing we're going to be reversing out because we ain't getting past that bridge later. Over here, there's sunrise going on actually. Quite pretty. Sunset bar. Sunset bar first thing in the morning. Well, it's not first thing in the morning, but. Palm trees. They look nice, don't they? Right in the little bay, aren't we? A little channel. Yeah, he's going to have to do some reversing. There's a bit of a fire over there, look. How was that? Power station. Yeah, it's like chimney. I think this is one of our favourite locations on the ship, isn't it? To sit around. At the moment, we haven't really been anywhere else. No, do you want to try somewhere else? I don't think we'll get in. No. That's like a retreat side up there. That's I, I've, I've sat up there, it wasn't very good. Um, it's, it's one of those quiet areas. Yeah. Beach coma, right by the retreat. Yeah, so but every time there's a sea day, you're never going to get on these. Yeah, I quite like it down there. It's a nice bar. I can jump in the hot tub. There's normally space in them. I might go up and do the infinity pool. Oh, there you go. There's the cruise resort. Look. Yeah, that's obviously set up. It's basically not particularly safe in the Dominican Republic. Yeah. Go around on your own. That's there for us. <laughs> People going in there already. And reserve their sunbeds. Four, five, four, five, six, seven, five. Take five. You need to be on the hump around me. Yeah. I mean those are quite good, they're loads to see, aren't they? Okay. Below to the sea. Deck five, I think they are. Eight is the promenade one. That's the line close. Zone 2 at the far end, what he said. Big business, isn't it? Yeah. So they're directly near to where the bus is going to be. Each bus has got a sign on the window with your tour number. 14A we're looking for. We're at number 5A at the moment. We're in the Jeep. 19A. Just join this queue here. This queue, thank you. Joseph, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> you got that. 
the people here have the same name we call here among us Tokayos. Tokayo does mean you have the same name like another another lady. You are Tokaya. A A mean lady, female, okay? So Tokayo, when the, the same people, same men have the same name. Antonio Antonio, we call here Tokayo. Look at Look at the beautiful nice landscape. This side is a bridge. You made that. We can see river. River. Chabon's river. You can stand up if you want. Slowly, Papa. Oh, slowly. That the government, the people which are working for the government, a lot of corruption. Yeah, that's a big problem. That's here. Never we are going to develop our own economy. No, we cannot. People here that don't have any job here, what do they do? Go taxi, moto, moto, taxi. Okay? That's a beautiful and uh, an easy job. You can see the buses here, with the bus. They pick up the personnel of the hotel to take to Bauru Punta Cana Capcana because the personnel of the hotel employee. All of the employees of the hotel are the personnel of the hotel. Yeah, okay, you understand? Yeah, yeah. Talking about the water, water line is not good for drinking or for cooking the food. No, never. Water line is not good. Very very, very bad. You drink water line, then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> No good. <laughs> then you you break you break you break the wind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My perfume, mama. <laughs> we include it. <laughs> okay. What am I? What? Are you? <laughs> You're smart to watch it. <laughs> watch her. downtown the market here and um, this side here we have also the market right side here look at the market yeah, too many people working here makes people from Haiti and Dominican all mixed here working here better than sofa shop there then, if you want a new sofa you guys need no bathroom you don't need to go to the bathroom. Okay, thank you. Let's give you yeah. all, let's give you all, like, trying to save time, you know? Yeah. Welcome to Sea Plane Adventure. My name is Mike. I'm going to be the person in charge to give you all the information that you need to know about this activity. This activity that you're going to do is going to be safe. In each station, you're going to have one instructor taking care of you. We're going to be there on the stations to hook on the cables on, to send you, and we're going to be waiting for you at the end to the cables to catch you or hook you and let you know what is the next cable. We're going to be next to you at all time. This board that you see right here, this is the map of the activity that you're going to do. The map is only to give an idea about the tool looks like. It's not the most important part. So please, do not try to keep the whole map on your mind. You don't need it. The most important part is going to be at the school cable. A school cable, it is right outside where those benches are. There, I'm going to show you the correct position to go on the cables. How and when to slow down, how to speed up, and what you're supposed to do just in case if you get stuck in the middle of the cables. You're going to see that when we walk outside there. As you see right here, we have 12 double cables at the headlines, and we have 20 different platforms or stations are the little orange house. Cables, from one to four. Those cables, is going to be easy cables. Those cables are short and slow, it's not that high, it's like a practice for you. After cable number four, the cables, is going to be a little faster, highest and longest. Cables number five, eight, nine, 10, and 12. Those cables are free hands. It means that you don't need to slow down on those ones. On those cables, you can go like this with your hands open. If you're going backwards or spinning on those ones, just let it be. It's okay. Those cables, is going to slow you down by itself. So no matter how you're going on those ones, do not put your hands on the cables, even at the end, please. Cable number nine, this one. This is the highest cable and the second longest. 700 meters. As you see right here, you're going to take cable number nine to go over of Anamuya River. 
after cable number nine, you need to walk a little bit to get to the slow one, cable number 10. After 10, there is another walk to get to the best cable, cable number 11, the longest cable and also the fastest one, 800 meters. There are two cables, 11. It means that you can go side by side there, two people together. Domina has a block has a little bit of metal, that's your brain. You need to go in the hand on the cable like this. This way I should be left to right handed. So, Domina hands on the cable, but you need to go with your hand softly, lightly on the cables because if you're going holding the cables tight, <laughs> you're going to send a speed so you might just stop. Remember that, keep your hand as loose as possible, please, on the cables. And slow down, it's very easy. When you sit in instructor doing like this, you just need to pull down the cable to slow down. Just make a little pressure down like this. Oh, yeah. I step on the side, please, sorry. Yeah. Right hand hold it here, grab it here, right? <laughs> sit down, please, sir. Bend your knees up, press the ankles. Remember, everyone to make your go straight and your hand loose. Have yeah. fun. Oh. <laughs> Ryan, hand, stand up. Great. Low. Thank you. Thank you. Other side, other side. This side, sorry. I'm left handed. Yes, yeah. One ah, sorry. Sit down. Left hand. Oh. Head up. Head up. Oh, this side. Left hand. Stand up. Trabaja, trabaja. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Uh, you take all the side, all the side. I'm just going to film. Yes, yes. Right hand here, oh. right then. Don't stand up. No second, no second. <laughs> Sit down. Look at me. You ready? You want that one feet? No hand. No hand. Oh. You find that you're having the break? No hand. No hand. Okay. Both hands. Both 
Stai mai tiem, dacă pot dragul ei, sunt dăm? Mamă, mamă, mamă. Le hai bom? Că se ia, că se ia, că a venit de. It's a break one, is it? Oh, I guess you have heartbreak, Karen. Oh, you're still with us then? <laughs> I guess a heart going, doesn't it? <laughs> These are the smaller ones. Left one on the cable, that's it. See you later. Pull up. You good? Go down the hole. Are you broken? No, no, no. Both hang here. Sit down. Brush your feet. Head out. Oh. Eso, vámonos, vámonos. Eh, 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 eh. Muy bien, papá. Mire. Eso. The go the other side. Lo pedí, lo pedí. Right? Hands in the cable. Karen, supposed to like you join us now. <laughs> Got a head start. I'm stopping as well. Swing around. All right. <laughs> Don't know how far we've got to go, do you? I think it does take time. Oh, rope. Grab the rope. Pulling you in. What was it called for the channel? Yeah, she knows. Cruise of Cavern 9. Yeah, I need you to advertise that. I've got some t-shirts if you want one. <laughs>
and a hat. No. One of our hats is in St Kitts actually. Yeah, if you go to the shipwreck bar in St Kitts. Oh, okay. This is the one just to go back, is it? Edited out that bit. <laughs> You'll be on the shut room floor. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that to you. Zip lining today, hopefully you've seen that on the video. It looks good, it's 11, 11 or 12 different zip lines we did. A little bit higher than I thought. Top end of the tour bus. It wasn't very tall, it wasn't very high. I said it was tree top. There were big trees, big trees in uh, the Dominica. Yeah, very good, good fun. Got the old adrenaline going. Wife you beat me in a race, hopefully you've seen that on the video. Got a nice meal tonight in Sindhu. Didn't eat too much this afternoon, or I haven't eaten too much anyway this afternoon. Wife has had a couple of extra sausages. I've just had a bit of bowl of fruit. So yeah, there's the sunset. Come with us to Sindhu, we'll probably go and have drinks down there at one of the bars. The crow's nest or the H level. Can have a look there, it's about six o'clock ish, half six now. A couple of hours till we eat in Sydney. We'll take you with us to a shade of food, it's really nice. Well worth doing. You pay a little bit extra, pay a cover charge for Cindy. And uh, it's a sort of a car, so off the menu, depends what you order, depends how much it is. It's worth doing. Bit of a treat. You're on holiday, aren't you? 
Squeeze 14 people. <laughs> no, sorry, it's impossible. No. 9109. 9109. Thank you. I'm going to do it once a quiz. Just give I? us another 10 minutes. Uh, are you ready now? We're a bit early. Well, okay, we can sit down and have a rest. And if you want to have a seat now, I can get to sit down. Have you got one near the window? Ready. Oh, you want a table by the window? I'm annoying, aren't I? Yeah. She tells me that a lot. Table is ready by the window. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Which way, please? Yeah, it smells nice. Hello, good by Shirley in May. Enjoy your dinner. And just ahead, somewhere in between the peak hours right now, 8 to 9.30. So there will be quite delayed some of our What's dishes. Yes. Yes. Around 45 approximate yeah. waiting time only. We're not going anywhere. So just enjoy your dinner. Yeah. I know, you just eat your yeah. dinner and you have to enjoy it. Okay? <laughs> yeah, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What was my cocktail called? East Indian India Punch. And what's in it? There's a lot of stuff in it. There's a whole long list in there. You give me that look now. It's in Sindhu anyway, so I'm going to show you. All our food for Cindy. It's Come a common belief that the etymology of the word punch can be found in an old Hindustan punch meaning five, implying, implying a large beverage concocted from five key elements sweet, sour, alcohol, water, and spice. This classic punch features spiced rum, cognac, velvet, fallow. Helenum, pineapple juice, fruit tea, fresh lime juice, and Angostura bitters. Thank you. I'll show you our view out the window. It's the infamous decade. So your wife is started. Chicken and soft egg, something or other. I've got spicy crab meat. Apparently you've got to be careful because there might be shell in there. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So here's your aromatic red chicken curry and the egg noodles. So I'll just put on the side so that you can use it. Okay, thank you. And for you, you have in the three signature dish, thank which you. is beef, duck and the lobster. So here's to share compliments from our chef we have in the vegetable to run lentil dal. So the extra bits and everything oh my god. <laughs> Basmati rice and naan bread to share, please and your meal. Thank you. I'll just come back with your condiments okay. for your egg. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's nice. It's a bubble party for the children. Not many kids on this one. I think it's half term part way through this cruise. Uh, if you want to cruise without the children, I can pick one outside of the school holidays. The back, decades at the back, the sunset bar. A more shout back here, go and find wifey. I wonder where I've got to. She is. is it windy on a forward facing balcony at sea? The 
Sunset Bar now, Deck 8. I think that's become our favourite outside place on the ship. Wifey's been to the cinema, watched uh, Death on the Orient Express, was it? Nile? Death on the Nile, that's the one. Yeah, same kind of thing. Agatha Christie. Is it Agatha Christie? Quaro. Yeah, there you go. So anyway, she watched that this afternoon. And before that, we had a bit of food in the American diner. That was nice, a little snack. I'm just waiting for the sun to set. Comes the sunset, do you reckon? Hour? That, oh, just, yeah, I think it's just after six the sun will set. I'll show you over the edge. We're going quite fast today, a bit speedy. It's a bit windy, but it's still very hot out. Couldn't see what you could see there because I wasn't hanging over the edge. Hopefully, you had a good view. Nice life off here. Nice ship. Very similar to Iona, obviously, sister ship. Just a few more um, modern innovations. Uh, obviously, the dome opens. It's got a couple of extra hot tubs. There's lots of hot tubs on Arvia and Iona. Um, we were on Britannia a while ago, and that's a bit limited. We get a bit full up the hot tubs on Britannia. Lots of outside deck space, but it's not all in one place, it's really spread out. Um, back of the ship, well, that's deck eight, you can see the sunset bar. And if you look up, there's the infinity pools above us, and that's all the suites and some balconies at the back of the ship. Suites are on the corner quite overlooked really the suites that bottom one mentioned it before you get a lot of noise from the sunset bar it's not exactly private and you'll see the one right at the top underneath the overhang that's a suite on the corner but that's obviously very sheltered um, you won't get a lot of sun there well they're saying that sun's behind us now wait for the sun to set where everyone sat down here at the moment. About an hour or so, hopefully we'll show you that. It'll be a seamless edit, we'll edit it out, edit it through to the sunset very shortly. Well, unfortunately one of your fellow guests has become quite unwell. And so at the present time, we have increased speed early on today, and we are making the best progress towards the party. And we now expect to arrive at the pirate station at around 7.30 this evening, which means that we'll be alongside by around 8.30pm. So there will be no immigration clearance as such this evening, and therefore, although the gangways will be rigged and ready for safety evacuation purposes, there will be no shore leave for this all this evening. But we will be alongside by 8.30, and as such, there is a possibility that the local customs will require the shops and the casino to close. So I do apologise if that does affect you, but I'm sure you understand these difficult circumstances we find ourselves in today. So as I say, 7.30 pilot, 8.30 alongside, and who has a wonderful Thank you. You're meant to be here, that's okay. The cruise with Kaz and Nige, you'll be on YouTube. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, on, YouTube. on YouTube, yeah. How long do you work for PO? 14 years. Oh my god, you're not old enough. She's very oh, I started uh, when I was six years old. Yeah. I would have said <laughs> four. Don't have the figure. No. Okay. <laughs> we hate it, yes, Madam Correct? Okay. Did you work were you on the Iona? <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah. I was in Iona for the opening as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Always on the opening theme. Yeah. What's next? Next, going back to Aurora. Are you? Do you like the smaller ships? Or? Uh, with my age, yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you always do the same job? or? Yes. 
always yeah. in the bar, always only okay. for piano. Yeah. I don't want to go to other company. For Caribbean? No way. <laughs> Q not? No way. No. Only P and O. Oh, only P and O. They're the best. I think I will retire from this company. Yeah. When you going home next? Uh, I'll be finishing my contract in uh, July. Yeah. Okay. And joining back again after. So you'll be back in Southampton then. Yeah. Yeah. We live um, just below Southampton on the Isle of Wight. There's a small island. When you come out to Southampton, you go past our house. Oh, so we pass by. Yeah, we can wait for you. Yes, we keep looking, but if it's busy here, <laughs> especially these big ships are always busy. Always busy, always. yeah. I didn't uh, actually realize that it rained earlier. They yeah. Just told me it rained. Oh, no wonder why. Yeah. Busy. Yeah. Everyone. Oh, they all come in for the ice cream. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Have you got your special offers on the ice cream? Special offer? Yeah. You buy two scoops and you say. <laughs> Is it calorie free? It's less in calorie, less fat, yes. so less yes. sugar. Yes. Good. Award winning snowflake. Okay, we'll, we'll try some later. All right. Thank you won't you. try any later. No, I will. Yeah, I will. You'll never know, madame. No. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. You had a good day? Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, it's yeah, good. It's nice, relaxing, wasn't it? Yeah. I went yeah. to the cinema. I watched what, it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, is it fairly big in the cinema? There's three different screens. There's right. four. I think oh, there's four, four. Is there? Oh, three or four. The little mini, mini. Yeah, when I watched it. I know on some of the ships they, they tend to do the cinema thing outside, don't yeah. they? And then yeah. you sit outside. But so that's what's up. What's that? Yeah. Death on the Nile, I watched with <laughs> Kurt Curl, Poirot. You like that kind of era, don't you? Yeah. Is it set in like the 50s or 40s? Well, it started in the First World War and then went up to the 40s. Okay, yeah, you like that, yeah. Where are you going tonight then, Phil? I haven't decided yet, really. I kind of like do that most evenings. I go out and then. Yeah. Well, well, to be fair, last night I was at the uh, uh, the limelight thing with Matt Carl. Oh, was it good? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was all right, actually. Like it. The meal was really nice. Um, it wasn't kind of what I was expecting in terms of performance wise because it was fairly laid back performance and it was acoustic set kind of thing and then he only yeah. did really two of his own kind of songs okay. and then did other stuff and then the ones that he did they weren't really that very upbeat it was like no. really kind of slow right down kind of thing so you don't want that do you, you want a bit of oomph uh, to it lifted yeah i kind of and, and then to be fair some guy had already pre-warned me he said to me um I said oh what are you doing tonight i said oh i said oh i was in the arsehole at last night i said um he then said to me, answered, oh, he'll, he'll tell you about the fact that he'd been through depression and the fact that he's been in the primary and, yeah. and, then, and all this. And then he did, all, so he did all that and then he said, oh, and, um, right, so the next track I'm going to do, he said, um, this is really kind of low-key and it's quite depressing. He was like, oh, I'm on a bloody cruise. We're on holidays. Yeah. He was like, oh, you're a barrel of laughs. And then he yep. said later on, he kept on saying thank you all the time. He got to the point where he was like thinking, can you just like stop saying thank you, just carry on with the music kind of thing. Yeah, it just yeah. kind of felt as though it was a bit, a bit forced then when he kept on saying that. Yeah, okay. um, and then I suppose for myself, because I was um, sort of sitting on my own kind of thing. So the thing was, they really dragged the evening out. So I got there at seven. So if you ever go there, one thing to bear in mind, I said to a couple earlier on, don't worry about when you get there, because you'll see people queuing. Yeah. They've already allocated you a table, so it's not a free for all. So it doesn't matter what time so it you doesn't get matter there, what, to be fair, to to be fair yeah. I would say you're probably better off getting there just after seven rather than before. Yeah. Um, yeah. But by the, so they then did like an appetise, yeah. then starter, uh, um, and then I think they had a group on for about 15 minutes, then you got your main course. Yeah. By the time you had dessert and it, Matt Carter came, it was 20 past nine. Yeah. And I was like, pulling it's time, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, no, I was, just, I was just pulling teeth. I was like, yeah. I've been in here for two, two oh, and a half okay. hours. Yeah. And then he was on for what? Nine songs? If the, so he, he was he was off by quarter past ten, because I was in the clubhouse by half ten. Yeah. Kid and cow tonight, We're going to, aren't we? Yeah. Virtual queue wasn't working, so if it doesn't work, just go to the restaurant and ask them. Uh, sometimes it's not working because it's full up. Sometimes it's just not working so yeah we popped along and gave us where's the pager under there pager's under there yeah. right pager's under there so and it buzzed you said it'd be about half eight what was it about eight o'clock isn't it <laughs> didn't really, yeah didn't have to wait long um, yeah speciality restaurants a bit slower in between meals because it's cooked to order main restaurants are nice but it's just all 
they go and grab a steak when you order a steak. It's not cooked especially for you. In main restaurants it is. Sorry, specialist restaurants it is. So just take your time. You're on holiday, aren't you? So there's no rush. If you look out in the atrium, same thing. It's a bit kind of a walk through. Okay, here we go. I don't think it was working online. No, we came, we came and booked here and they give you a pager. That's all we've got. But yeah. We're coming to port a bit earlier tonight. I'm supposed to be in tomorrow morning, but somebody on board is a bit poorly, so they've um, made good progress and come in in the evening. However, just be aware you're not allowed to get off when they're coming to port early. Customs and the Border Patrol won't clear the ship, <laughs> just so the poorly passenger can get off. And we'll sit in port for the evening. At least it won't be choppy. Uh, in the morning, we'll get off in normal time. people on the ship you can't all get in the same restaurant so you might be disappointed sometimes and you have to go somewhere else or wait a bit it's very loud when it buzzes yeah, it, buzzes, it buzzes it's buzzes very, very loud, loud yeah. <laughs> Atrium, deck nine. Very nice. Duck, what are they? Duck what? Bow buns. Duck bow buns. With a drumstick in the middle. Really nice. I showed us my main meal was a uh, sirloin steak and lobster tail. Wife has got the same. Here's our view we've got from the table. It's nice, it's, it's busy, a lot of people walking around, but we like to people watch, so. Nice view. Thank 
Thank you very much. My sticky toffee pudding in the kid and cow. And wifey has got a tiny cheesecake. Where are we? Southampton. Sing off when we left. Is that what it was? We were like side by side? Yeah. Yeah. They were doing a sing off. Just keep walking. I am keeping walking. We're going the wrong way that way. There's no view that way, is there? You walk around the front and round. And then you can see. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Romantic stroll along the promenade. Just get on with it. You no, know, it's not what they did on um, what's the thing? Titanic, isn't it? People would stroll along the deck, couldn't they, on the promenade, hand in hand. So they're not going to go like that soon. <laughs> what? Because she was, he was teaching her to do spin. Was he? Yeah, and then her, mo her mother came along and he had to. Don't remember that. Yeah. That's not very romantic. What were they doing that for? Spit back in me and that thing. Why did you have to do spit in that? Well, because she wanted to be like. He was telling her that she's too posh. Oh, he wanted to be like the yeah. ordinary people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's, that's the floorboard. What's that in there? Oh, the big beach, beach house thing there, isn't it? Dee 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 dee. Morning campus, we're right in St. Martin. Came in early last night because of the medical thing we mentioned. I'll we'll just show you our view from the balcony at the pointy end. I like it actually. Yeah, it's a bit windy when we're running around at sea quick. But I quite like it, it's a unique view. Cruise ship coming in, very small, exclusive one. We'll find out what the name of that is later. I don't know. See a little pilot boat down there that's been helping them come in. He's got a tug assisting him at the back of the ship just to help with a bit of steering. Looks nice, doesn't it? It's quite nice on there. It's not all about the size, you know. Size doesn't always matter. Be very exclusive, so you'd be really well looked after on there. Um, you get to know the crew, the crew would know all of what you like, all your drinks and things, and what food you like. Uh, we like the bigger ships, we just like the choice you get on the bigger ship. Um, some people don't, some people like a small ship. Spin around slightly, show you the view. We're pointing outwards at the moment, he's reversed in going to go to the Mayho Beach today, hopefully we're going to either get a local bus for a couple of dollars or we might just grab a taxi and see how much that is. And we'll come back in the distance there, down to the right there in the corner, uh, it's a nice little beach you can walk along to from the ship, it's really easy to do, there's little cafes and bars down there so you can pop down there straight from the ship if you want to. So we made it off, St. Martin. Keep forgetting where we are, it's all blur, isn't it? Oh, it's a bit shaded by the ship, nice cool breeze. Not too warm yet. I'll show you the ship, go out a bit and have a peek at the 
ship. When you're on it, you never know what it looks like. There you go. Princess is similar to P&O, yeah. slightly more American, yeah. maybe. Uh, been on an NCL ship, haven't we? Yeah, oh, okay, that meant to be good, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. But for you guys, I think Royal Caribbean would be your best yeah. option. Definitely. Arthur is lovely, isn't it? It's a nice ship. And oh, it is, yeah. It's a good choice. Oh, it's just them, them sun beds, though. We still have them <laughs> on sea days, been managed to get. Some yeah, we you, can't. Yeah. you just can't do it, can you? But then everyone can't be at the same place, can there? 6,000 people. No. We normally sit down on deck eight, right oh, at the back, okay. yeah. at the sunset bar. Oh, they got some comfy seats yeah, down there. Times, we normally yeah. get a seat there. Um, I did find one sunbed, and because uh, it was empty, I thought, oh, no one's probably there. This woman came up to me and said, no, I was about to go there. Uh, I was like, oh. Have an arm wrestle for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to Maho Beach. Short taxi ride. Sixteen dollars per person. Here, okay? Just here yeah. by the French bakery. Yeah. Ooh la la. Yeah. 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 Let's just check out a lobster special. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Found your lobster already. Yeah. Lobster for breakfast. Exactly. <laughs> wow, we made it, Maho Beach. Yeah, sixteen dollars per person return straight from the ship and they've just picked you up here at a set time or I think they shuttle backwards and forwards as well yeah you can walk and get the bus if you like for a couple of dollars much easier uh, but yeah it's a bit of security and it's safer to do you know you're going to get back to the ship okay we've asked to be picked up about one o'clock uh, give us time to go back to the town and we'll have a look around the seafront It's going up or coming out? It's a fairly big plane just about to take off, I think.
beautiful Mayho Beach in St. Martin. Oh, I can't ever remember. There's a plane coming in, can you see? Excited, I'm quite excited, like a big kid, really. The wifey's okay, she's down there, she's got a sunbed. She's happy. So watch this one come in. BBC. Do you know what BBC stands for? I'll tell you when I'm not filming. It's still raining. Right. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Got Bailey's in it. So just come from Mayo Beach, um, the lady taxi driver has dropped us off downtown Phillipsburg. We came here last time. Nice little beach, lovely cafes, local beers and food. And there's a ship over there, so you can just walk along. Mm? Yeah. You don't mind me filming you, do you? Secret recipe. <laughs> it's a secret recipe. Ah, oh, oh, we won't. Best, best. You'll be a YouTube star. Uh, best, yeah. Do you watch YouTube? Friendly. Do you look at YouTube? No. Sometimes. Nice. I'll put you on there. You're on the YouTube? Yeah, Cruise with Kaz and Nights. That's our channel. The name of it? Can you see? Cruise with Kaz and Nights. Yeah, just. Remember, the public just recommended us one of these smoothies and the ladies putting all fresh ingredients into a blender. $7.50 each. Let you know what they taste like in a minute. Got that, wifey? Is he living the dream? Mm -hmm. Oh, I've panned around now. Is she okay? Okay. It's my birthday today. Didn't I tell anyone? Yeah. I forgot. Did I mention it was my birthday? It's my birthday today. Just mention it. <laughs> yeah, I'm 24. How old am I? 56. Yeah. Bit of rum going in. Oh, Bailey's. Hey. Bailey's.
Yeah, exactly. What are those guys? <laughs> yeah, the lady will tell you. Daisy, you want one of these? You want one of these ice creams? Like that. They're very nice. Mm. Oh, that's it, we just finished our little walk around the beach and the seafront in Phillipsburg, downtown. Taxi dropped us off there after the beach, after the airport beach. About a 15, 20 minute steady walk along the flat. Just walk towards, walk towards the ship, but it's really easy to do. It's worth going down there, actually. We had a little dip in the sea. I had a smoothie, lots of little local street food, Caribbean food, jerk chicken, fish. Lots to try down there, worth, um, worth walking along if you haven't got a tour or even pop down there after your tour. Sailing away from St. Martin. It's what time is it about six o'clock? Six o'clock in the evening. Tomorrow we're headed for Antigua. I don't really know what we're gonna do there. I'm gonna wing it a bit, see what happens when we get off. Did originally hire a car but we cancelled that because we we're gonna do something else, but decided against the something else. Well, if he's doing a few scenic photos. What are you doing there? Eh? Panoramic. You've just been annoying. It's my birthday today, didn't I tell you? Did I tell you it's my birthday today, sweetie? Get a little birthday treat later, I expect. I'm going to Sindhu. Speciality restaurant. Went there the other night, but we're going to go again because it's my birthday. Quick update from the bridge. We're back in Sindhu, second time on the cruise. It's my birthday dinner. Little little treat from wifey. One of the little treats I'm going to get from wifey for my birthday. Starters. Table, that's cabbage, carrot, beans, coconut, cooking their own stuff. Okay, okay lovely, thank you. Thank you. So have you got the, um, can you get the oils for yours? Yeah, the oils are coming. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So yeah. be patient, won't you? That's quite impressive, isn't it? That's quite clever. My birthday cheesecake. There's a birthday candles. I've done my best. Yes, yeah, good. I'm impressed. I did say, could you sing happy birthday to him? You did not ask him to do that. Yeah, I did. I was in your snack.